How's it going, guys? Wolf here. Welcome back to the Wolf's Work. Say, oh, look at this. We've got the game against Hamburg. So, we've got Alcacer up front, Draxler on the left, which means because of this now, um, because we're not playing a middleman in the attacking midfield area, uh, we're moving Draxler on the left, and he's actually played better on the left than he has um, in attacking midfield um, the last couple of games towards the end of last season. So that means Scherler's actually having to drop onto the bench. Um, so we've got Scherler who's covering the left, um, we've got Azui who's covering the right, and then we've got Barbosa as our cover for the striker on the bench there, just letting you know as how things are standing. Um, so yeah, then we've got Klassen as the advanced playmaker, Wanyama and Romero as the two central defensive midfielders. Um, Hinteregro comes in on the left because um, Kolasinac is actually suspended from the last game of last season. <coughs> And then we've got Dante and Nkolu in defence and Mario Fernandez gets a start here as well and really also starts in this game. Their first Bundesliga appearance and all with Carrillo Alcacer as well. Um, then on the left, um, any notice? Um, we've got Holtby there in midfield. I actually rate Holtby as a, as, yeah, I think he's a decent midfielder. Um, we've got Sake as well. He's, he's quite solid. He used to be a, he was an absolute machine on FM14, that guy. Um, and nothing else, not too familiar with... Um, with Hamburg so yeah let's get into the game we just need to win today Mario Fernandez this has literally been the first highlight of the game Alcacer can we score Carrillo Drax look how did you miss from there you have one job oh gosh Carrillo come on find someone in the box nope Defender clears that out. Corinna doesn't get to it first. And Saki clears that out for a throw on. Uh, that has literally been the first highlight of the game. Like, it's ridiculous. Um, I'm going to let my assistant take this. <coughs> See what he says. Uh, yeah, we can still come up with a win today. I'm going to tell him assertively. Yeah, tell him that. Um, so, yeah, it's been the first highlight. Uh, so, it, you can tell that the game's just, like, pretty either even or no one's taking their chances at all. Um, but that's literally been the, the first highlight. So, I'm hoping we can, we can change something after half time because we should be... Um, oh, here we go. Oh, are you serious? I was about to... Hey! Is it on key or extended? Because I think last time I watched the game it was on extended. It's on key. Cool. Hunt. Klassen clears it out, Romero clears it out, back to Hunt again, and that goes off for a goal kick. Again, nothing has happened. It's been the deadest game I've played so far on FM16. Goodness me, nothing. Absolutely nothing. So we're going to put Barbosa up. Maybe we're going to take off Draxler, actually. Put Scherler on, see if Scherler can do something. Um, defense is playing pretty well, as you can see. Um, but it's just... Classer, maybe we can put on Baselli. And um, I'll, I'll leave that now for now. Hopefully, they can bring some sort of influence into the game because it's been, it's been dead. Gonna make another sub. Last sub is going to be Alcacer off for Barbosa. And I'm actually going to change this from overload to um, control to overload and see if we can just push some guys up and get a goal in the last 10 minutes of the game because it's been dead, it's been boring, nothing has happened, what a waste of, uh, of a game, just pure deadness, oh lord, it's just a nil-nil draw, and then Bayern Munich are smacking Stuttgart 6-1, six, six, like what is this, and we're struggling to score a goal against freaking Hamburg SV, come on mate, it's not acceptable that isn't, and that's the end at the uh, Volkspark Stadium, um, very disappointing that was, that was pure, just Pure deadness, just dead. <clears throat> Take a look at the stats. So they had five shots, we had seven. Both of us had three on target. They had 52% of the possession. Uh, that was just a boring game, really boring. Uh, Mario Fernandez gets man of the match in his debut. Need to wake up for the next game. So Tobias Beck is actually wanted by a couple Spanish clubs, as you can see. Atletico and Real Madrid are both after the. Um, future star of Wolfsburg as I call him um, he is going to be a very fantastic left back in the future um, already got some good stats and there uh, these two are trying to um, swoop in for him as it stands but I have literally put my foot down and said nope he's not leaving um, and I keep just every time they put in offers I just keep putting in like high bids but um, high transfer thing but I'm gonna do it on camera I'm gonna offer him a new contract now and um, see what and see if this can just shake people off a bit uh, agent fee. Does he have a freaking buyout? No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. All within the hood. He doesn't have a buyout clause. 
So we're going to offer them a new contract and that should just keep them away now for good. Um, other prospects here, uh, Jules member. I actually really wanted to use him in the first team, but I remember you can't use 15 year olds in the um, <coughs> in in the first team. Um, so we're going to have to wait till I think that's March. I think it's but I think it's March. Yeah, March. So um, yeah, gonna have to um, wait till then. But um, Tobias Beck does turn 16. However, in October, 20th of October, he turned 16. So, that could be very useful for us because I actually could rotate him in some cup games against smaller sides because I think he's got the ability now. Um, well, not the ability, but he's got some of the stats now to play in the first team, in my opinion. So, um, I might see what I can do with him. But, yeah, it's, it's a bit it's a bit like just, just piss off. Like, just piss off because you're not going to play him. You're just going to use him in the under-21. So, just piss off. Real Madrid, just go. Okay. Oh, look at that. He's only spent one season at Arsenal. Now he's on the move again. And this time it's for 20... Um, they signed him for 28 million. However, it's going to rise to 36.5 million pounds. This guy is bringing in money. Goodness me. Ah, oh, this guy. So, um, he's only been at Arsenal for a season. I don't know if he played or, was, or had a full, like, fell out of Arsenal Wenger when he was there. Um, you can see... Oh, he's been... Well... Then he only played two games for um, Arsenal before he left. So um, yeah, he played 31 appearances. He had 31 appearances, scored one goal, had four assists. I guess he played all right. Um, tackle ratio looks decent. Passing ratio is very nice, 83%. So um, I guess he, I guess he had a good season. And now Real Madrid have uh, swooped in for him for 28 million pounds, pretty much 36.5 million pounds. So um, yeah, FC Zurich. That's where they got him from. Let's see if there's any other players that we can. Um, Saviola, I know why. He, he did. Was it him? Yeah. There was one player I was looking at in Argentine. He had a very good season. I was going to sign him as a striker, but I just thought he wouldn't work. Maybe that was only in the Argentine, Argentinian league. And maybe he wouldn't be as good if he moved to the Bundesliga. So it was kind of like I just, I just left it. But let's get some scout reports. It's always nice to look at some. Um, go back to some old teams and see if they've got any future stars or anything to look at. Um, maybe you can. Um, Bring the next player in but yeah um so he's gone goodness me arsenal what are you playing at selling in for 28 million pounds 36.5 million pounds in the future nah should have should have um should have should have bargained i would have bargained for like 45 million pounds for him honestly i do need a new left back not a new left back but a cover left back for when um Colin Nisak gets injured or as you've seen recently gets suspended so we are going to sign um, Derm for a season as you can see the monthly fee is 58k which is not a lot of money at all really not it's like a penny to us um, then we've got 3 million as the future transfer fee if I do wish to sign him on and we're only paying 10% of his wages which is great um, and the total monthly contribution goes up to 70.38k so that's not a lot again at all so we're going to accept it and um, he's now a Wolfsburg player all right ladies and gents we are well gents um i don't know if any ladies watch this let i don't i pretty much doubt it um so we're gonna go to the draw champions league draw let's go and see what happens with this let's let's go let's do this paris saint germain in group a group b Bayern. group c barcelona group d chelsea group e real madrid group f juventus group g zenit and group h porto group a oh psg and arsenal group b atletico madrid and Bayern. Group C, Shakhtar, Donetsk and Barcelona. Group D, Chelsea and Leverkusen. Group E, Real Madrid and Dortmund. Group F, Juventus and Man United. Group G, Zenit and Sevilla. And Group H, Porto and Man City. Oh my lord. None of these groups are easy. Uh, I think the easiest there would probably have to, you'd probably say Sevilla and Zenit. Um, so that's the group we want to get drawn in. Um, but here we go. Oh, PSG, Arsenal, Sporting. Galatasaray gets into Group B, drawing next. Olympiacos with um, Barcelona and Shakhtar. Olympic Lyon gets Leverkusen and Chelsea. Basel gets Dortmund and Real Madrid. Come on, let's get the Group G. Group G. Oh, flipping hell. <laughs> group F. Oh, gosh, so close. Uh, group F, we've got Juventus and Manchester United. Oh, that doesn't sound easy at all. Um, Monaco gets Sevilla and Zenit and Lazio. That is the easiest group so far. Goodness me. And Lazio gets City and Porto. Let's go again with the last draws. Got Sparta Para in Group A. Celtic completes Group B. 
Feyenoord completes Group C. One, oh, Roma completes Group D. Frickin' hell, mate. Uh, Panathinaikos com completes uh, Group E. We get FC Copenhagen. Um, Partizan get them to Group G. Oh, Partizan, babes. Um, and uh, the last one, I didn't really see. Oh, and the Lech gets um, Porto, City, and Lazio. So, um, realistically, how do I think the table's going to end? Exactly how you're looking at it. Exactly how you're looking at it is how I think the table will end come December. Um, so, eh, I don't know. Well, maybe there might be some upsets. Who knows? But Juventus and United. I mean, United are not the strongest of teams, but... This is FM and they can they always find monstrous players. Like, let's go take a look at their team quickly. Um, it's going to be a very long episode. Uh, you can take a look at their team. They who they recently signed that we don't really know of. So we'll go up from the bottom. Uh, Rooney's unhappy. Let's get a scout report him. See if we can um, get a te cheeky loan in, maybe. Nah, I don't know. Um, but anyway, any Baradi's a new signing. Zayech is a new signing. My, my, Mikey, Mikey is a new sign. Andrew, Andrew Robertson's a new signing. Andre Fontas is a new signing. Dragovic is a new signing. Um, and De Gea is still there as a goalkeeper. Um, I, don't, I doubt those are like this season, but those are all the new players that they've signed. So um, it's, the squad's looking quite thick, if I do say so. Oh, and Kevin Volland, flipping old. How can I miss him out? But yeah, the 24 year old German striker slash winger move from Hoffenheim to, Real Madrid, um, to Man United in the summer. Um, turned down a move to Dortmund to go to Man United, so that was interesting. Lads, I really don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I really want to sign Carver Howe, I really do. But however, if we sign Carver Howe, it's a, a, a thing of getting rid of Nacho, um, you could say, is kind of like just, you know, average. But at the same time, it's like I don't want to make too many changes because that's what I did last time in Southampton. Like, if you take a look at our transfer history, Ah, uh, it's, a, it's a good deal, that's the thing, it's a really good deal. Um, well, we haven't signed that many players. I mean, we've just only signed, you know, the, the gaps that need to be filled filled in. Um, but we, we'd have to get rid of Nacho. However, Nacho was, I don't know if he is now, but he was wanted by Borussia Dortmund. So, um, no, he's not. So, that could be, I don't know, I don't know. Screw it, screw it, screw it, it's happened, it's happened, it's happened. Screw it, screw it sideways, screw it upways, sideways, downways. Screw it in every position you want to, just screw it, right? He's, he's signed them. Don't know how this is going to work, but we signed them. So up front, we've got Alcacer, um, Scherler coming in this game for Draxler. i uh, just got to see who works better on the left. Um, the right, we've got Carrillo. Um, the, our, our replacement for Carrillo, if we ever choose to, is Azui. Uh, we've only got Azui, and we've got Riorena actually, but he is not on the bench in this game. Uh, we've got Baselli as the advanced playmaker in this game, because um, I'm not underestimating them, but I know that Nuremberg haven't been the strongest of teams in recent years, so it's going to be a nice you know, chance for the youngers um, or the, the players that don't really get starting time to, to come in the match and you know prove their worth. And we've got Hinteregger playing in the um, anchor position um, over Wanyama, going to give Wanyama a break in this game. We've got Romero as well on the right. Uh, Kolasinac and Kolu Noke coming in for Dante. Uh, just, you know, Noke is actually quite a, a decent centre-back, so going to be using him quite a bit again this season. And we've got Carvajal, the new signing on the right-hand side, um, coming in, playing his first game back in a Wolfsburg shirt, uh, like he never left. Um, and then we've got Rulli in goal. Let's get into this game. This should be an easy... It's not easy. I'm not going to say it's going to be an easy win, because I always say that, um, but we should do well so um yeah let's get bloom oh my gosh it's one nil breco puts it in the back of the net we are one nil down against nuremberg okay this is ridiculous that header was just no one was marking him i don't know what was going on come on let's not do this again carver how to carillo Carillo bomb it down. Can you find a pass over wide to Schurler? Can we get a goal before half time? Romero up to oh, giving away possession. Out wide to Carvajal. Carvajal get across in, mate. Gets tackled again. Baselli runs the ball. Romero out. That was a beautiful pass. Carvajal do something. Carillo. Oh no, he gets tackled. It's just not working, is it? <sighs> Don't do this. Don't. Jeez, he's a bit ambitious, ain't he? Freaking took a shot from there. Alright, this is ridiculous. Um, aggressive. Where's your passion? Do you want to win the match? 
Um, it's got to be done. It's got to be done. Um, we're going to see what happens with this. We've changed tactics. We're going to see what happens. Shirla. I can't see anything. Don't have to get rid of those stupid things, Shirla. Oh, he took a shot. No one got to the rebound. That was a freaking effort by Shirla, and no one got to it. Oh, no, Numberg, don't do this to me. Do not do it. Oh, Romero gets it. Alcacer, you've got the pace. You've got the pace. Come on, finish, mate. You had, you had one job. I can't breathe. Oh, my gosh. how I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe that. Oh my gosh. One goal was scored in the whole game. We bat we dominated in possession. We had more shots. Oh my lord. Right, I'm 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 pissed. Uh if you enjoyed it, leave a like. To be fair, this is complete nonsense because we had no highlights. You see, in the last two games, you guys have seen, we've had no highlights. I don't get it. Oh, oh I'm going to go. Leave a like if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.